Nick Cellarello. I like challenges. So when someone comes to me with something and they don't think it can be done, that's not an answer for me. I, I find a way. I got into the business probably about 15 years ago as a stucco applicator. Things were going really well, but I decided to get out of the install and just supply. With that, I supply a Duroc product, which is um, known in the stucco industry. And I also manufacture the moldings for the stucco industry. So a lot of these guys will come to me with the custom designs that they need drawn up. And then basically we take this two-dimensional drawing and we'll put it on our, our computers and, and redesign it. And then it becomes, uh, with our hot wire machines, becomes a almost like a three-dimensional object at that point. And then we run those through our coating machines, the cement coating for the outside. And then like there's a plaster coating that we would do on an interior finish. When I was building a house about six years ago, um, we had had a pool installed and I talked to the, uh, you know, the, the contractor and he was explaining to me what this product was, but you know, and then he went on to tell me about problems that they had. You know, I went back to him a couple of times with my designs and it just kind of took off from there where, I mean, they were coming to me saying, yeah, we need some more of this stuff, it's great product, and they were telling other pool installers, so next thing I knew my phone was ringing for this stuff. Since then, I've hired on some more staff just to kind of push this product forward, and we've been doing a lot of trade shows, and we get a lot of good feedback. When you have a good product, and then you have your price, if it's the same, so what can you offer that's different? It's gonna be the customer service. I've been flying all over the country now to see these guys do an install, make sure they're happy with the installation, and I'm always asking questions. And the end result is the customer, I want to make sure they're satisfied. If they're not satisfied with it, I'm not satisfied with it either. Ahmad Najjar. I speak about passion a lot, and people think, you know, are you in the passion business? My biggest success and my biggest strength is my passion and my biggest weakness has been my passion. I moved to Canada on my own. I was 20, 21 years old. My first job was at a mall stretching pizza at the front of the restaurant and I was making minimum wage, $6.50 per hour. I didn't have enough to buy everything to do with my bachelor's apartment so I lived on a blanket for a month. Once you start your life from scratch, like I had a lot of options though I say in that apartment. Um, I had the option of where I'm going to place that blanket. And uh, I, you know, every choice I made from that point, it was mine. And that's where, this is where your success will lie. On that one choice that you make at one point, and some people call it circumstances, some people call it luck, some people call it being a smart, genius, whatever it is. It's that one choice that you make out of three, four choices that works out good. And I start eliminating all the things that were not going to take me anywhere and be realistic about what I want to do. And that's when I started the car business. At the beginning, we're just, you know, we're somebody on this corner. You make something from almost nothing from that scratch and you place your blanket or mattress somewhere. When we started Mazar, it was the idea to have a Lebanese restaurant that reflects my culture in, my, uh, in a big city like Beirut. Now, I wanted to do it not at the expense of my time and my main business. I wanted to do it as like, you know, okay, I can afford it, I'm going to do it and I'll have somebody run it. That, that, that didn't work. My brothers are actually the back, you know, you know, me and them are like four bodies, one heart. We just do everything together and, and they know that. I don't have to mention it, but maybe now I want to so people will understand. Entrepreneur, businessman, successful, unsuccessful, the key is happiness. And if we're not reaching it, everything else doesn't matter. Kyle Pinsano. My idea of opening up Canadian's Legacy Service Group came from uh, growing up when I was younger. I was born in the industry. My mother used to own a staffing agency here in Windsor. I went to uh, university knowing I was going to open up an agency. I went to Illinois Institute of Technology in uh, Chicago. I opened it, uh, my agency out of my house. I was cold calling clients from my house phone. I signed a massive tier one client within my first week and then I had to find office space because I, I, I couldn't have major people coming to my house and whatnot to sign up. And uh, from there, my mother, Pat King, she now is uh, my VP and, and following in her footsteps and she helps me along as well. We hire nonstop temps, dozens to a hundred per day, um, as well as, you know, we also headhunt that very rare CEO or that really top end engineer. What we're really known for in this industry right now is, is our speed. We are extremely fast, um, you know, filling 60 jobs, you know, within just 10, 15 minutes is, is almost unheard of. When an order comes in, we guarantee a response to all of our clients within five seconds to 60 seconds of them sending an email. If that email is at 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 5 a.m., it doesn't matter. Our team works the phones 24 seven. 
In just a few years, I assume that we're gonna have 50 locations throughout North America. I would not be able to grow this rapid, this fast, without a, an amazing team of employees that we put together. I wanna be the largest agency in North America, and I, and I definitely strive towards that every single day. It's, it's all about taking risks, but taking the right risks. As an entrepreneur, you've gotta be able to take risks to be able to grow.